Alright, what's up guys? Welcome back to Kingdom Come Deliverance. This is episode 20. Yes, 20. This is going to be a special episode for a special milestone of videos. We are going to attack the bandit camp. Now, before we do, I think we have to speak to Sir Radzig. Uh, really quick, I just wanted to see if we need to repair anything. There we go. We did some repairs. Nice. Um, I think most of our armor is in good condition. Is he? Oh, he's not up yet. We'll just let him sleep a little bit longer. Uh, there should be some, there should be a grindstone. There's an archery range. It should have a little of everything. Let's wash our face here a little bit. Just get the nice uh, morning dirt off, I guess. Morning dirt, is that a thing? I don't know. But am I going crazy? Did I, oh, it's back there. So yeah, this is, this is the epic, you know, pre-battle phase you know the soldiers are getting ready uh, they're ready for for battle did I miss the grinds oh wait, it's right here okay this is kind of an odd spot for it that's all right we'll use this and here we go Okay, nice and sharp and we probably did some damage to it um, we should be able to fix it here there we go so we fix it up back to a hundred percent and I think we're ready now Are you boys ready to go kick some ass huh for scallops huh you guys eating some stew looks delicious Actually, I should check. Where are we at? Uh, 65%. We could probably eat. I think. Yep. We're able to eat some food. That should hold us over. That's fantastic. And Sir Radzig. Buddy. Oh. Did he get up? I think he woke up. Yes, he did. There he is. <laughs> there he is. Strutting around the, the camp. Greetings. What do you need? Uh, I'm back from scouting. Back from scouting, sir. Excellent. What have you found out? Um, there's... It's in some overgrown ruins. There's an overgrown ruined village in the woods where they're dug in. That sounds like Privets Lovitz. Yep. Belonged to Sir Divish before Privets Lovitz. ...and torched it, and then imprisoned Divish. It's been left abandoned ever since. I was hoping they wouldn't be so organized. Earthworks and fortifications. That's quite a different matter from writing some rabble out of the woods. Yeah, I, I tried to count I tried them. To count them. And how many of them are there? Bear in mind, I'm relying on what you say. We'll have to call for reinforcements, and that's no simple matter. Every man that comes with us will be lacking somewhere else, and I don't want bandits pillaging some other town because there's no one left to mount a defense. Hmm. There's quite a few. There's quite a few of them there. Perdition. We'll definitely need reinforcements. I think the Talmberg men should suffice. I don't like leaving the castle unprotected, but there's no other option. Uh, hopefully we didn't make the wrong choice there. There are bandits It's there. mostly bandits in the camp. They're not villagers with pitchforks, but not regular soldiers either. <laughs> no more than I expected. I have no fear of them, but underestimating the enemy can be fatal. There aren't just bandits in the camp. There are Cumans too, quite a few of them. Cumans, you say? Where the hell did they come from? Really? Could Sigismund have left them there after he raised Scalitz? This is looking more and more serious. What do you mean, where have they, like, what? There's Cumans everywhere, bro. Like, what? what are you talking about? I took a look at their arms and armor. They're not a proper army, but they're equipped quite well. What about archers? Um, I like the gold trim, you know, it looks nice. Uh, I didn't see any, they're positioned well. There's a few of them and they're positioned well. If we charge them head on, they'll probably do us a lot of damage. I don't like the sound of that. It complicates the situation. Dealing with them before the battle would be the best option. Okay, and they're, 
Uh, they're making some ladders in the camp. They're up to something in the middle of the camp. It looked like they were making several long ladders. Ladders? That sounds like they're planning a siege. I like this less and less. On the other hand, we can use that to our advantage. If we can capture those ladders, we can use them to scale their own fortifications. Nice. That's about all I saw, sir. I didn't notice anything else. That's all right. Did you manage any sabotage while you were there, as I asked you? No, sir. Sorry. Never mind. You did a good job anyway, and you deserve a reward. But now we must get ready to set out as soon as possible and put an end to them. Hell yeah, let's do I it. you to go to Sir Divish in Talmberg and tell him to send Captain Robard and his men to our aid. There's not enough of us here in the camp. You can rely on me, sir. What should I tell him? Tell him to take all his men. Leave only the bare minimum at the castle and march to Pribislavitz. I'll take everyone but for one or two sentries. Hopefully together we'll have enough men to defeat them. All right, I'll get going. Oh, uh, we'll have enough. We've no time to spare. I'm worth we'll with you. 40 we'll men. Oh, uh, thank you for the groschen. All right, so we need to talk to Sir Divish. Pebbles? Yeah, we didn't sabotage anything. Because, again, if you guys missed it, uh, we were trying to go with a human disguise, and it did not work out. All right, so it's still early in the morning, and we're making our way to Townburg. Talk to Sir Divish, who we uh, did not cuck um, because we are a noble knight and we treat a lady like a lady, all right? We do not treat her like she's some common wench. <laughs> um, yeah. I don't, like, I'm really curious how this battle plays out differently if you're like, ah, oh, we just need a few guys, you know? Like, what's gonna happen, you know? Is, is, if we get too many guys from Townburg, is Townburg gonna get attacked or something? No. Yeah. Who knows? All right. Uh, Divish, did you turn into a horse? <laughs> I think he's upstairs. They in here? No. Uh, uh, who's that? Uh, uh, some maid. Alright. Oh, Divish! Hey. Yeah, hey. Hey. God bless you. What troubles you? Um, Sir Radzig has asked for reinforcements. Sir Radzig sent me with an important message. He asked for reinforcements. He needs more men? What's going on? The bandits and Cumans have set up camp in Pribislavitz. They're preparing for something. Sir Radzig wants to mount an assault on them, but he doesn't have enough men. Hang on. Easy now. From the beginning. What happened? I managed to track down the camp of the bandits who raided Neuhof. But it's not just a gang of brigands. More like a small army in a fortified encampment. I don't know what they're up to, but I'm sure they're getting ready for something. And Sir Radzig wants to destroy them before they get a chance. So it's worse than I thought. But Sir Radzig is right. We should do something about them before it's too late. I'll send my soldiers. Sir Radzig said to take all your men and leave only a minimum guard at the castle. What? Everyone? There really are a lot of them, Sir Divish. He's leaving the camp almost empty, too. We're to go and join his people in Pribislavitz and mount an assault together. All right, then. Sir Radzig knows what he's doing. I'll muster the men and send them with Captain Robard in command. Would you lead my men there right now? Absolutely. Yes, sir. May God be with you in battle. Goodbye. Here we go, folks. It's time to cleanse the filth. We're in the forest. I'm glad to see you, Captain Robard. I hope Henry's explained everything to you. He did. But I find it hard to believe. Who could possibly put together such a significant military force? And right under our noses. We'll just have to find out. But I don't think we will until after a battle. If we don't deal with them now, who knows what they'll be capable of in a week or two. I agree entirely, my lord. What's the plan? Right, lad. We're almost at the place you described. Now we'll have to advance cautiously. I need you to tell me how it looks around the camp so I can decide which side to lead the attack from. Sir, that's a big responsibility. I don't think I should... I asked you a question, boy. You've been there and seen everything, so speak up. There are three ways to get in. 
directly along the straight path to the camp, the long way round through the woods and over an old weir, or by a narrow bridge over a deep ditch. Let's start with the direct route. That sounds like the easiest approach. How does it look there? That path leads round their battlements. It's fortified and patrolled. The chances are they'd shower us with arrows on the way. It's a good thing you're here, Henry. We'll have to try another way then. What about the approach through the woods and the weir? I don't like the idea of marching such a long way over rough ground, but if it's the better option... It's a long way through the woods, and there are patrols there as well. They'll call the alarm before we reach the camp. I thought so. What about the last approach, over the bridge? It's a bit narrow for my liking. It's narrow, all right, but once we get over, we can quickly occupy the best ground for a battle. We only have to take down a few archers. The battleground sounds inviting, but that bridge and the archers, it's not an easy decision. Each option has its pros and cons. Well, I try to answer to the best of my ability, sir. And you'll be suitably rewarded for your efforts. From what you say, the route over the bridge is the best option. If we're fast, we'll have the advantage. With the help of God, we'll win this day. Let's do it. And it's raining, a good rainy day for a battle, you know? Epic Agincourt style. We'll approach from oh. the south and storm them over the bridge. Form up. Forward march. Dude, what an epic setup. Look at this guy. Forward march! Let's go! Battle to be met. Oh my god, I love this game. Charge! To the bridge, quickly! Oh. Kill these archers. Die. By the way. Okay. I mean, I should be trying to loot them, but I need to kill these archers. What's going on? Oh! Where did these guys come from? Come on, push, guys, push. We gotta get these archers. Nice, you guys flanked around? Let's go, cumin time. You stand no chance against my powerful swing. I don't. Die! All of you, die! You running? Alright, hold on. Ooh, want that. Just checking some loot here really quick. Oh, they got some good stuff. Oh. Come on. They don't let you loot. <laughs> All right. We cleared out the way. Guys, we are utterly crushing these guys. I mean, if you remember the first playthrough, this is like night and day. This is crazy. And looks like we're stuck in a loading screen, so this is fun. <laughs> Come on, game. Let's go! Ah! They're forming a line! Ok, 
humans. You scum. Are you running? Yeah, run away. Oh my god, you're getting wrecked. Is that the human leader? Come on, watch it. Alright. Yes! Sorry, sorry. I bet he's got some good stuff. Kill the leader in a very epic way. Hold on. Um. Oh yeah, he's got this. Take that. Okay. Kill the archers! Dude, I remember struggling at this part so much, but I'm just slaughtering them all! Stop. Stand no chance, archer scum. Get away from Sir Radzig. Come on, Radzig. Oh. Hold on. I gotta get to these guys. I think you have to go in the camp and around. Yeah, you have to go up here. Oh, one hit and you're down? We killed the archers. Alright. Whoa. All right, we can't stay here too long. We got to keep moving. Fight through the church. Wait for me. This is their best fighters. Yes, knocked him out. Yes, you're done for. Let me see this. Oh, hold on, hold on. I want this. I want this helmet. Damn it. No. Where's the helmet? You're the wrong guy. I want this helmet. Damn these archers. I got nothing for them. I'm not a sissy archer like them. Sir, there's more of them coming from below. What the hell? The approach! Defend this fucking hill! Hold your ground! Defend! Let's go, let's go. Yes, 
Just run away. Run away, cowards! Oh, let me take it. There we go. <laughs> you just can't loot. Yes. Look how epic Harry looks. Stand your or Henry. Did I call him Harry? <laughs> Get him, Henry. I will cleave you in two, you bastard. You tried before, and yet here I am. What? Who the hell are you? <laughs> he doesn't remember. You don't remember me. I remember you, though. Now, where's my fucking sword? What the fuck are you on about? What's... Hang on. You're the... Fuck me. I thought we left you to the crows. Tough little fucker, eh? What did you do with my sword? Judging by our last encounter, I'd say you made a big mistake coming here. Where's my fucking sword? But then again, maybe you've had some practice. I hope so. Because last time was too easy. <laughs> oh, I've had some practice. <laughs> I've had some practice. Okay, all right. Shit. Oh. All right, he's tougher than I thought. I want a tournament, okay? Missed. I hate fighting up here. Who are you? All right, I need to pull off a combo. Alright, we got one hit on him. Come on then. Oh, for sure we had that combo. God. Yes, I'm not the same person you met earlier. Oh, yeah. So much easier, guys. Still a challenging fight for sure, but... Oh yeah, get him, Henry. I'm bad for peasant brat. It's not over yet, you scum. Now where's my sword? What have you done with it? <laughs> Talk, you bastard! I'll see you in hell. Yeah, get it, Henry. Get it. Yeah. <laughs> Tell me, do you hear me? Tell me what you've done with it! And then kill him, even if he tells you. 
I'd say you're flogging a dead horse there. You took him down. On your own. Well done. Nice work. You surprised me. He was a mountain of a man. He was the one who attacked Noyov. And stole your sword, sir. The thought did cross my mind. What did he tell you? If we'd taken him alive, the executioner might have gotten more out of him. Oh well, these things happen in the heat of battle. Anyway, we found a trunk full of coin down below. Someone was paying this gang very well. And there were some of Sigismund's barbarians among them. I don't think we've seen the last of this. Whoever engineered it was highly placed. They won't give up after one defeat. This louse was just a pawn. I'm afraid you're right, sir. Well, lad, we live to fight another day, eh? Yeah, <laughs> get it. Oh my god, just stabbing them, dude. These damn bandits. That's oh, Henry. You, lad. Let it go. Henry, you've had worse fights. Not really, this is the biggest fight. Now, put it all behind you. A decent Christian shouldn't dwell on such horrors. I beg to differ, sir. I never want to forget this. The time has come for those whore sons to pay for what they did to us. You're right, my boy. But first, we all need some rest. We'll meet later in the upper castle in Ratte, and then decide what to do next. But come what may, you did a good job today. Epic part in this campaign. Such a cool battle. Really enjoyed it. Yeah, I remember playing that the first time, and I struggled to get through that stuff. You know, I struggled to fight all the, through those humans and everything. But this time, it was like a hot knife through butter. I will make you pay for this. It's time for the next part of our plan. Give the word. Yes, sir. Now, for some of you who are watching this for the first time, do you remember who that was? Do you know who that is? Da, da, da. All right, reputation gained. Where are we? Questions and answers. Oh, we're in Townburg. Go to the hall of the upper castle. Excuse me, guys. Beautiful singing voice. Beautiful singing voice. Yeah, unfortunately... um, No, that's not the right way. Unfortunately, you can't loot uh, after that battle. Because we would have made a lot of money. Is this where we're going? Oh, in a private room. Uh, where, where do I need to go? Um, oh, oh, over to the upper castle. Sorry. This is the wrong castle. Hey, wait, <laughs> Pebbles, what are you doing? Just walking on the steps like that? Come on. All right, uh, let's sell some of the stuff we have. I think we have some stuff we can sell. We're also gonna like fix up our clothes and everything. I am honored that a knight such as you. Yes, let's talk repairs. Ooh. Uh, let's just for now repair what I am currently wearing. And repair this one, because I just love the look of this one. So cool. 
All right. Um, so we will pay $595. Ooh, or dollars. You know what I mean. Oh, oops. And close the deal. But we have stuff to sell. All right. My question is, is this helmet better? Oh. I was like, wow, we have a lot of stuff to sell. All right. Sell that. Is this better? No. But we'll sell it. This is better. Yes. Yes, look at us. Look at us. Awesome. Uh, I don't... So if we compare this to this... Visibility is better too. Like, everything's just better. This is a cool looking helmet. But this one's cooler. I'm so glad... Oh, wait. No. Don't sell that. Uh, I think I'm gonna sell... I think what I'm gonna sell is... You know what? Just get rid of this stuff. The fancy clothes I bought earlier. It's just whatever. Um... This is... This has better charisma. That's about it. Everything else is better. You know what? I'll just keep this. Because it's... It, it matters to me, I guess. It's important to me. So we're gonna make 700 gold. So basically we're gonna make back what we spent. Very nice. And then we'll go to the tailor and get all the clothes fixed up. I hope I can be of some hope. Yes, uh, let's be with you. repair. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you very much. So now we're looking pretty, pretty slick. Um, let's go. Oh, do we have some. We have some arrows we could sell, but whatever. I, I'm gonna put this on. Hell yeah. Uh, oh, by the way, did we have stuff? Oh, that's right. We have more stuff we can sell. All right. Uh, oh, strength. Um. See, foes will be more likely to flee from combat with you. The ones who do fight you will be less determined. You'll get attacks greater damage, cost you 10%. No. Boar, you can deplete an opponent's health and send him by uh, bumping into him at a sprint. This effective increase your armor and behavior. Okay, and the great. Let's do dreadful. Yes. Is there anything else? I think that's it. We're almost level 14, guys. How about that, huh? Uh, what were we gonna do? Oh, yeah, we gotta move the um, We'll go ahead and move this No, not not move that we want to move this okay Just get rid of this cumin stuff Just sell it because you know it didn't even work It didn't even work. All right, let's talk trade See you later. And human stuff be gone uh-huh we'll sell that too there we go we're just keeping this you know what i can move this to the horse and we're gonna make 800 more gold all right yeah yeah We got a lot of money, guys. That's good. That's very good. And I'll tell you why soon. I will tell you why soon. Alright. Dismount, baby. Here we go. So we need to go up here. And in here. My lord. I'm afraid you were right when you said these hostilities wouldn't end at Probislavitz. That comes as no Bits surprise. Bits. What has happened? The men reported two more attacks today. <clears throat> ah, Henry. I'm glad you're here. It seems like we'll have another task for you. Come and join us. My lord. Greetings, lad. The bandits raided a few remote hamlets, but that's the least of our worries. They also attacked Merhoyed, and that's a much more serious matter. Merhoyed? Matthias is working there. 
They attacked right after the battle in Pervislavitz. Bastards are probably trying to prove they're still strong. But there's a silver lining. The villagers held them off. And they even took one captive. He's wounded, but we can still interrogate him. Your graces. I hope I'm not intruding. On the contrary, Master Tobias. Unlike Bernard, you are the bearer of good tidings. Or so I gather from the coin you carry. Tell me, how many Groschen did we find in Pribislavitz? My lord, I'm sorry, but my news is no better than Captain Bernard's. These coins are very good. That is to say, well-made facsimiles, as we call them. Uh, fac what? <laughs> I don't give a fac what you call them. I want to know what they're facking worth. Uh, that's just it, sir. They're worth nothing. Are you saying what I think you're saying, Master Tobias? Um... This here... Is just a pile of copper. Curva! Fuck! Plated with silver, so it's still of some... <laughs> Worth. Mm. Curva! Fuck! Is it a lot of work to make such counterfeits, Master Tobias? I should say so, sir. Highly demanding work. Especially to make such plausible forgeries. They would need a well-hidden foundry, several craftsmen, and a source of material. But they could just be brought in from somewhere else, could they not? Well, they could, but then again, the silver mines are nearby, and these groschen seem freshly minted, so... So we are Fuck. facing a foe who has almost limitless sources of coin. That's all we need. Doppler Well, gentlemen, it's clear what we have to do. Interrogate that captive bandit, find out their numbers, and promptly cut off their supply of money. Otherwise, they'll soon have another encampment. If they haven't already. I doubt it, sir. Merhayed wouldn't have been able to hold them off if they did. Well, lad, I said it would have work for you, but it never crossed my mind there would be this much. You've already proved your worth as an investigator, so I'm putting my faith in you again. Go to Merhayed and question that captive. Find out where those brigands are hiding, how many there are, and what they're planning. And while you're at it, see if you can find some clues as to where this counterfeit coin is coming from. Very well, sir. Good luck. We're counting on you, all of us. Come report to me as soon as you know anything. I'll be at the lookout point near Talmberg. Okay, so the, the um, main quest continues, but I think at this point, guys, we are going to take a break from the main quest. And we are going to do the fun DLC, right? No. Where is... So we're going to go here and rebuild the city, which I think is what you have to do. And also, we're going to go to Sasau and hunt down some bad guys, because that's going to help us make even more money. So, uh, let's get on our horse, and we have a long way to go. Oh, uh, maybe we should give some praise to Mutt here. Did he even... Did, Mutt wasn't in that battle, no. I guess I assume I told him to stay. You'll love this. Look at that helmet, dude. So awesome. There you go. Eat up. And we are off. So, all the way up north. Yes. We travel. Ooh, it's going to be late. Oh, an ambush. Alright, let's... I guess we'll fight this. Oh, come on. Let's what fight it. Do you want here, eh? Oh, it's over oh. here. They're always over here. What's the Dude, like... <laughs> what did you think was gonna... Is it just you? Is it really just you? Oh, Henry, you're looking amazing, dude. Look at that. Just the armor looks sick. Uh, bard potion. Crackling. Dude, you have nothing. You don't even have Groshen. The only thing you've given me is experience. Alright, so as we were. We're like halfway there.
What is this? An obstacle? Alright, here we go. What do we got here? I can't see anything. What is happening? I, I don't even know what's happening. Oh god. This is why it sucks to travel at night. Oh, where'd you go? Alright, we gotta get it. Thank you. This is We're just gonna have to fight him with the torch, because it's so freaking dark. And there's an archer, that's what's been shooting us. Come on, leave me alone. Oh, stop. Don't look at body. Where's this archer? <laughs> you just shot my horse. Pebbles, run. Where is this guy? Where is he? Oh, what? Oh, there's another one? What the heck is happening? I hate this. Okay, sure, buddy. Okay, sure. Die, God. Give me these bandages and give me your groshin. Give me this. This. Scum. Oh, that was annoying. And they attacked Pebbles. Son of a gun. Wait, where's the guy that we killed over here? Didn't we? Oh, did he run off? Did he fall into the bushes or what? Ugh, I don't know. I'm just gonna get out of here. Come here, Pebbles. Let's go. That's so annoying. Ho hopefully that's it. That's all we have to deal with because we actually got banged up there. We are not good night fighters. Oh my god, this is a huge force we have to get through. Oh, an ambush. Run away. Run away. Fail. Okay, this isn't too bad. It's not humans. Get out of there. Is it just one guy? Just die. <laughs> You got nothing, dude. I hate you. Is there anybody else here? We good. Alright, we're good. <sighs> we made it to town, guys. We made it to town. I don't know where we need to go, but... Definitely cleared out this camp. All right, this is where the headquarters are. I would love to find a place to sleep around here. Wash ourselves with all the enemy blood that we have on us. Not not wash yourself with enemy blood, but all right, we can sleep here, thank goodness. And we will wake up in the morning, sunrise. So, uh, what we're trying to do here is we're trying to build up this city. I don't know if... I mean, we should be able to unlock this quest, right? Fairly certain. Right. I am hungry, so let's get a nice bite to eat. Is there anywhere to eat here? I got some apples here. Um, take eight of them. Okay, and then we will eat. I guess we'll just have to eat our food. Yummy! We're still pretty hungry. Huh? That's all our food, I suppose. So maybe we gotta talk to someone up here. Is anybody here? Alright, let's eat from the pot. We're still pretty hungry. Oh, we ate too much. We ate too much. Gosh darn it. Um, nobody's here. 
What am I doing wrong? Hmm? Oh, it was timed. Fritz and Matthew's problems were timed. Oh, oh well. Was failed. I didn't know. And nobody's here. Like, what the heck? All right, guys. So I just realized we have to wait a couple days before this, or after the quest baptize uh, or baptism by fire or whatever. We have to wait a couple days, um, and then the option to repair this town will arrive. I just got super excited, so I was like, "Hey, let's do it now." Uh, so, uh, what we can do in the meantime, we should probably help Mehoyed. Uh, so we're gonna go back to Townburg and uh, deal with uh, Townburg over here. Come on. We'll fast travel to Townburg and then we're gonna help with the plague um, and try to deal with that situation. But unfortunately, guys, we are out of time. All right, guys. So we're in Townburg. This is where we're, we're this is where we're going to end the episode. So what I do at the end of my episodes is I'll randomly select a uh, YouTube member, give them a shout out. So today we have Lee Davy. Thank you so much for being a uh, YouTube member. Look at this guy walking into the door. <laughs> Look at him. What are you doing? You stuck? Anyways, thank you, Lee Davy, for being a knight. I appreciate it for four months. And uh, yeah, if you guys want to become a YouTube member, there's a link down in the video description. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time on the battlefield.